everybody. It's Charlie again. I'm currently playing Hollow Knight Void Heart Edition. Um, I played this game a very long time ago. Probably, I would say, seven to eight months ago, maybe more. It was close to the quarter of the beginning of my channel. But uh, I always wanted to come back and I wanted to check it out again. You know, I remember it being very difficult and very fun. So yeah, let's get into it. Hope you guys enjoy. Oh shit, he's back. Mr. Hollow Knight himself. As you can see, the art style is very unique. But very fucking sharp. You know, it's just... It's just a sharp game. Like, everything he does, look how he cuts the fucking grass and everything. The leaves and shit. I love it. Look. See that? So much impact to the blows. Definitely not for just anybody. Um, these games are made for people that like very extreme difficulty. I realized that within the first few uh, minutes of playing it a while back. Um, definitely a game. Kind of, it's a, it's a Metroidvania. You know, you can go back. It's an open world type side scroller. You know, you could retrace your steps. Ooh, what am I killing? Like fucking beetles? But yeah, you can retrace your steps, which is pretty cool. Um, yeah, every impact feels like an actual... See, I can't hurt those. Just wanted to show you guys, so you, in case you see me... Ooh! Great. I already lost two lives, great. That was stupid. Bro, back up! They're trying to... Yeah, what the fuck? You can't be attacking me while I'm trying to fucking escape these things. But anyways, let's keep going. I can't believe I lost two lives doing some dumbass shit. What the fuck is that? Oh shit. Oh! That was... You see, stuff like that. Like, things are so vicious in this world. It seems like a friendly game, but it's fucking not, you know? What the fuck is this? Holy shit! Did I just get some power? Well, what does that mean? It's so mysterious. The game doesn't tell you what's going on outright. It expects you to figure it out. And I think that's one of the things I like about it the most. It doesn't baby you. Too many games do that, you know? And it's kind of like, sometimes you want to play like a real game, you know? Something that reminds you of the past, but yet has that futuristic technology driving it, you know, those new... I don't know how to explain it, you guys know what I mean, probably. How the fuck? Oh, okay, okay. Well, I'm glad he jumps high as fuck. <laughs> That's all I can say about that. Okay, I definitely can't go there. Oh! Great, I got one more. Damn it. I got one more of these health things. Now, if I could rest, but it's too far from where I am. You know? Ooh, things just got really fucking creepy. I kind of just went back to where I started, I guess. Ooh. No, but they have one of those ghost things. Should I fight it? <laughs> I probably shouldn't, but... Oh, no, no, it's... I just don't get... I think I just got an ability. I can't tell what that means. Just turned into smoke from Mortal Kombat. That's one of my favorite Mortal Kombat characters of all time. Simply because he li li he's literally on smoke all the time. Get it? Because you don't want that smoke? <laughs> That's stupid, but you know, he is a what I mean. He's a cool character. Cool design. 
I hated him at the beginning because they just gave him Scorpion's abilities in the old games, and I was like, come on, guys, come on, that's so lazy. But then in the new games, they, you know, they retconned that, they fixed it. And, uh, yeah. Smoke turned into a fan favorite. And as you can see, I'm showing you the backtracking. I gotta kill one of these fuckers again. Ah, fuck it, I'm not even gonna bother. <laughs> Ah, uh, but guess what? I got a little trick up my sleeve. I went back to the resting area. How do I? There we go. Bitch! Get my health back without dying. <laughs> you gotta be smart. You gotta be quick. You gotta be. You gotta make a movie. Uh, you guys remember that song? I think I heard it on the radio. It was on a throwback uh, radio station. I was like, whoa, I haven't heard this song in a while. But yeah, I just love the design of this game. It's like, um... It's a very strange design, yet it's very impressive. Because you can still call it highly graphical. But technically it's not, you know? That's so cool. Um, you can't jump that high, I don't think. Yeah, that's too high. Can he float or glide or shit? Do some shit? I'm trying to press the other buttons. Now, apparently that's not his thing. Oh, but you guys could play... Oh, I just realized you guys could play old school style. You could use the uh, D-pad. That's great. I like games that do that, that they give you the option, you know? For people that prefer the D-pad. I don't know why you would prefer the D-pad at this point. I think the the first time I preferred it would, was when the analog thing was created. And I was like, no way, I don't like playing like that. But it really grows on you. Ooh, that was a close one. <laughs> I told you, everything's dangerous. But, um, yeah, the D-pad um, was very old school, and people loved it. But that shit would give me fucking blisters, man. Aw, oh, man, I didn't mean to do that. I went back around. Wow, I just missed another one of those. Okay, let's go this way. What the fuck? Oh, that was really stupid, guys. Alright. Um. Oh, hey, man. Oh. Oh, by the way, I haven't introduced myself, have I? Yes, I should apologize for that. When you spend a lot of time by yourself with just your own thoughts, you forget the necessities of conversation. My name is Cornifer, <laughs> and I've always loved exploring the world while when I was first hatched, I wandered off immediately, leaving my brothers and sisters poor mother behind. That's why, as soon as I could, I moved to Dearthmouth with my wife, a huge, unending kingdom to explore, right on our doorstep. Who could resist? Anyway, I'll let you return to your travels. With a little luck, we'll meet again. Be safe and farewell. Mm -hmm. Alright, dude. Uh, okay. I thought you were going to give me some kind of special weapon. Mm -hmm. But oh my god, oh my god. Can I pick that up? What the hell is that? You saw you see that? That's something that's laying there? Okay. Oh shit, okay, I was able to go up. Uh oh. Just got dangerous. We're gonna have to move fast. Yeah. I just love how it feels when you strike something. The bad thing is it can move you back, the impact, you know? So you gotta be very careful. Oh fuck. Alright. I wonder where we're going, I have no idea. Holy shit. Oh, that one was already hurt? Oh, it just takes one hit for those. Nah. It takes two hits, so that one was hurt. Just don't remember hitting it. Maybe I did earlier. Oh 
shit, what's up here? Okay. Oh, hey guys. You guys okay? Well, why are you guys crying? They look sad. Okay, I can't go further that way, so. Well, I can't interact with them, so. I might as well leave. Looks like he slowly discovered the game as you play him. Huh? Ooh, got him. What's over here? Bro. It's you. Okay, I got him. It's kind of like a Super Mario Transylvania. <laughs> Metroidvania. What's... I'm almost afraid to go down because the same shit always happens. Wow, he's attacking me. He's saw that. He was fucking rushing my ass. That's how you end up dead. Oh, ascend. Okay. Okay, we're getting somewhere. Okay, this is kind of creepy over here. Enter. There's the mouth. This is where the guy's from. Oh, it's a shop. Nah, I'm not gonna buy anything. Look at that. Bam, magic. <laughs> Wait, let me talk to him. Did you visit that temple? A strange building, I've heard. Though I'd never dare to journey myself. The braver among us once went there to pray said they felt at peace within the walls. After a while, they stopped going. I wonder what changed. Yeah, I don't know, but this is pretty fucking creepy over here. What the fuck? Okay, so this is as far as it goes. It looks like there's nothing here. I thought I was gonna find a boss and I was gonna be like, oh shit! Time to fight! Oh, he can strike upwards too, by the way, guys, and downwards. That's what's cool about it. But I must descend and find my way. He just fucking jumped down. Nothing fancy about it. Crossroads forgotten. Nice, just ripping through shit all day long. Fucking porcupine, what the fuck? I don't know what he is either, by the way. Like, what the hell is a Hollow Knight, you know? But, um... I'm sure if somebody sees this, they'll be like, Oh, I can let you know the whole legend behind it. I'm like, no, let me discover for myself. Black Egg Temple. Hmm. For so long, I felt drawn here. So many tales full of wonders and horrors. No longer could I resist. I just had to see it for myself. And what a time I chose to arrive. This dead world has sprung to life. The creatures are riled up and the earth rumbles. The air is thick and I wonder what could have brought it all about? Yeah, I don't know. Well, I can't go further either. This is some kind of sanctuary. I, again, I thought that was going to be a boss, but nope. I was going to start going, I'm ready for your ass, dude, just go. And when I finally meet a boss, I'll shit my pants. <laughs> Hey, what's up, man? What's up? Bro, chill. You see how the, he repeatedly attacked? He, he didn't even pause. Like, my blows didn't pause him. So, yeah, that's how... Oh! Oh, my God. Wasted a health trying to figure him out. Ooh. Whoa, 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 whoa. What the fuck? Okay. <laughs> Now we're talking. Um, let's see. I'm trying to make it to the other side of this damn temple or whatever it is. 
Oh shit. Okay, boss. I'm shit. I shit my pants. Holy. F <laughs> so there you go, guys. That's how difficult the boss fight is. So that's where it starts. Okay. Well, depending on where you're at, the resting place changes. But yeah, guys, I'm going to go ahead and end it right here. I do hope you guys enjoyed. Please like and subscribe when you get a chance. And like I always say, go game.